So in this video, we have a uniform beam AD, so AD there, of length 5 metres, hangs in equilibrium in a horizontal position. It is held in position by two light vertical cables at B and C, as shown. When a weight of 300 newtons is hung from A, the beam is about to tilt. Find the weight of the beam. OK, so let's draw ourselves another diagram so we can visualise what's going on here. So here is my beam. Here is A and here is D. Now, because we know that the beam is uniform, that means that the weight acts through the centre. So let's call that W newtons. And it's a 5 metres in length, so the distance from A to the centre will be 2.5 metres. And we could also put 2.5 metres on that side if we wanted to. Now, we've got the two cables, B and C. Now, if we are attaching a weight of 300 newtons to A, so 300 newtons going downwards there, then what's going to happen is, if it's on the point of tilting, that means that the brunt of the weight is being pulled through B. So that means that at C, there is no tension left in the string. It's essentially just about to go slack. So the only tension we need to worry about is at B. So here's B. We can ignore uh, the tension at C. So we can call that tension at B. OK. Uh, we know that this is 2 metres. So if that's 2 metres, then this bit here has just got to be half a metre, hasn't it? So that distance is one half of a metre. And this gives us enough information now to work out the weight of the rod, or the weight of the beam, rather. So we can do that by taking moments about point B. Now, the reason why I would take moments about point B is because that means that I don't need to consider the tension at B. Because I'm taking moments about that point, I don't need to consider that tension because the distance from B to the tension is zero. So, taking moments about point B, let's consider the force at A first. Now, this is 2 metres away uh, with a 300 newton force. Now, this is going to create uh, a turning effect that is going in this direction round, so anti-clockwise, and so that is positive. And then for this one, so we can put a little positive sign there if you like, and then for this one, we are half a metre away from the W Newton force, so 0 0.5 times W. And that is going to be creating a turning effect that is going clockwise. And so that's negative. And so the sum of those will be zero, because we're still going to be in equilibrium. So this gives me an equation now for W. So we know then that 0.5 W is equal to 600. So if we divide both sides by 0.5, then W is going to be equal to 1200. So we know that the weight of uh, the beam is 1200 newtons. OK, and that's what we wanted. So. Next bit is now the weight at A is removed. Find the maximum weight that could be hung from D without the beam tilting. So let's adjust this. So we know that this is now 1200 newtons. The weight at A has been removed, so that can go. Now, um, the maximum weight that can be hung from D without the beam tilting. 
So we're going to be hanging a weight at D. Should we call that, um, what should we call that, V? Why not? V newtons. Okay, now because the situation's changed, we've now got the tension at C. So let's bring that back in. So here's C, and we've got tension at C, and that's 1.5 meters. Okay, um, and this is going to be one meter, isn't it? To the center of the rod. Now, because the question is saying the weight at A is removed, find the maximum weight that can be hung from D without the beam tilting, that means we need to consider uh, at the most extreme point that the beam is on the point of tilting. And if the weight is being added here, it's going to tilt about C now, rather than B like it did in part A. So that means that if it's tilting about C, the tension at B will now be zero. So that is now gone. Okay. So the question now is, what is V? Well, this is a very similar picture to the one that we just did for part A, isn't it? So if we decide to take moments about C, then we can look at one metre away from the 1,200 newton force, so 1 times 1,200, and that's going round in an anti-clockwise motion, and so that's positive. And then we are 1.5 metres away from the V Newton force, so 1.5 times V. And that's going round in a clockwise motion, so that'd be negative. So we have that 1.5 V is equal to 1,200. So 1,200 divided by 1 1.5 is 800. So V is 800. So the maximum weight that could be hung from D without the beam tilting, you could say is 799.9999999, as close as you like to 800, but yeah, it's, eight, it's 800 newtons. Okay, and so that's our answer.